While using Excel, have you ever wanted to make data more visible with colors and styles that actually change based on the data itself? For example, what if we wanted to force numbers in this data table to follow rules? 1. All numbers between 30,000 and 60,000 must become bold and have a box. 2. The top 10 numbers will be awarded a golden highlight and any number below average must pay the penalty of brown. And finally, the remaining numbers will be highlighted light blue. We're not going to get this complex, but we are going to learn how to create simple rules just like these with the conditional formatting tool in Excel. This table might look familiar from a previous quick tip. I've already shaded the title axes in the font section of the home tab. This type of shading is different from conditional formatting. I'm going to show you how to make the table look like this giving us a clear visual transition from negative numbers to positive numbers, as well as a nice fade from light green to dark green. I'll be sure to point out additional features along the way. First, highlight the values that we want formatted. Go to the Home tab under the Style section and click Conditional Formatting. Excel has a variety of preset templates with rules for highlighting particular cell ranges, adding bars based on values, color scales, and even icons. Feel free to explore these different template rules. But for now, select New Rule. The new formatting rule window gives us six different rule types that can essentially create each of those templates we just looked at fairly easily. To get the look we want, make sure the top rule type is highlighted. We want to format all cells based on their values. Then go to the Format Style dropdown and click on 3 Color Scale. We want to make anything below the minimum number of zero, light red, and anything above the number of zero, light green, and the highest value in the range can remain green. Click OK. And there you have it. We can clearly see where the negative numbers become positive. To further demonstrate the power of conditional formatting, I will copy this data table below, allowing editing of these values. Highlight, Control C, for copy, and select Control v for paste. Now we have two sections where the conditional formatting is applied. When we change various values, the rule stays true. Now you know how to use the conditional formatting feature in Excel to make your data look more visible and fantastic.